Hey guys, it's Ted. Um, wanted to do another possibly quick uh, video, a little chat again. Um, mostly about food, some thoughts I've been having on, on everything. Um, I haven't actually been weighing myself, uh, as was the intent to do was very often, likely daily, if I was to keep up the, the videos uh, in the way that I originally intended to. Uh, that's okay though. Um, with stuff going on here, it's just been a little bit hectic. Uh, but in any case, um, the main thing I wanted to do today was to leave this as a note to myself. Um, a lot of the times I tend to um, get to a point where later on in the day, uh, towards, well, later on in the night, uh, I tend to get pretty hungry um, when I'm idle. Uh, this is still after drinking plenty of water, so nothing like um, nothing like being dehydrated or anything like that. I'm, I'm totally good on that front. Um, but w the main issue is that uh, when I feel that hunger, um, I tend to give into it, and giving into that hunger means everything's off the table. Like I will consume and consume and consume and do every little thing that I can to eat anything in my general vicinity that uh, would be okay for me to eat. Like I'm not going to take someone else's food, but if, if I'm in that mode, I will just go. And it's definitely not good. Um, and it, it took me, it, it's, I've, I've known that it's not good that I do that, and I know that I need to stop acting out and giving into my body just wanting to eat for the sake of eating more. Um, you know, I'm, I'm on a diet for a reason. I'm restricting my calories to a level where I am generally comfortable doing because that is uh, where I want to be. Um, that's what I want to be doing for... A good portion of the rest of this year probably but um, in any case getting down to the the main part um, last night I intentionally said uh, fuck it I'm going to give in and I'm going to take very very um, in-depth notes of everything going on in my head uh, how my body feels giving in um, everything like that so, you know, I'll, as far as my stomach, massive, just after just gouging on food, uh, gorging, I guess, instead of gouging, I'm not stabbing myself with it, um, gorging on all the food that I can, um, after a good hour or two, you know, I feel that pain in my stomach, like, I, I feel like my body knows that it's that I'm, I, I did bad, I did wrong. Um, obviously, there's times where eating more is good, and, and I get that. Um, but in these instances where I'm literally just drinking or eating and eating and eating when I don't need to be, I've already eaten plenty in the day uh, to keep my energy level going. Um, you know, it's just... Um, my my body definitely knows it. Uh, it's just my mind doesn't want to listen to my body, obviously. Um, and my body doesn't want to listen to my mind either. Um, so I gotta gotta help them talk, I guess. Um, the other thing I noticed was that when I get in that state, it is almost like a panic attack. Um, my body will just heat up. I will feel manic. I guess I will. I will just everything is sped up. Like I like I need to. My my focus. Every last thought in my head is I need to eat. I need to eat. Need to eat. Need to eat. And um, you know, like, and my body is just fired up. Just starting to sweat terribly. And, and it's it's the anxiety. It's it's when my mind realizes, yeah, you you you, you snapped, and you you went past the line. You know, like you, you don't need to do that, man. And I'd still do it. So my mind is just screaming at me, like, 
you, you idiot like you're not gonna make any progress if you continue doing that to yourself it's not good for your future it's not good for your present um, you've you're repeating the past and, and it's not something I want to do and um, you know I indulged I went and I ate and I ate and I ate until I felt sick so that I could just see and I could record those thoughts and, and, and this is what I wanted to say and this is what I wanted to have so that I can hear it the next time you know I could be like all right you fucking idiot don't don't do that you ate what you 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 had set aside you know you don't need to be spending all this extra money on this nonsense and it's just ridiculous how much I you know yeah when when you break I guess it just really just everything's out the window out the window and in the mouth of course um but yeah that's that's you know I, I get the terrible stomach pains from forcing so much food into my body I get the anxiety the in in my body just heating up and, and everything and it's it's and every every last thought is just you know what what else can I go and, and find and, and eat and um yeah it's not good <laughs> so that's that's what I wanted to say I wanted to put down and be like you know you need to listen to yourself uh, today I did not cave in at all so there you go two thumbs up um, and all I had when I got home because I, I usually try and fast uh, I had my electrolyte mix when I got home because I was walking sweaty um, it's pretty pretty humid and hot out here it's, it's summer in Pennsylvania so um, you know if, if anybody else I'm gonna try and tag this with a few things so the metadata whenever it hits I hope somebody maybe gets some use out of it uh, when they hear you know how I feel about it and I I, I know I don't want to um, I want to be healthier for myself I want to have a better future I want to live long as I can I want to be healthy when I'm 60 70 80 years old I want to still be that fucking grandpa that's still managing to go out and, and, and work out as, as often as he can and you know set an example for uh, seniors I guess <laughs> um, but that's you know um, in any case like I said I'm gonna try and tag this and maybe someone will hear it um, if you're trying to lose weight and you're not having a good time with it I've been through it you'll be through it because it's not gonna last forever the the moments of you know anxiety and, and pain and worry and everything you know it, it can only get better but you need to stop falling into the pit and let it happen and you need to fight for yourself to get to where you really want to go um, and if you don't do it you are the only person who is ever going to be responsible for your body so you cannot count on anybody else to do the job for you the only thing that you can count on is getting you know support from your friends and family and loved ones and you are the one making the decision to eat you are the one making the decision to not exercise um, you'll have good days you'll have bad days you don't need to exercise every day but if you want to make a difference you need to make everything about being healthy part of your lifestyle it's not I need to diet it's not I need to exercise it's I need to promote a healthy mindset for you know my well-being both physical and mental eating good is going to make you feel good mentally physically you know exercising is going to make you feel good mentally physically and again if anyone is going to be doing it it's your body so you have to do it 
the last little bit, I guess, is sort of a tangent, but um, not that I'm expecting anybody to actually hear this, which is cool. But you know, if anybody does, or if I link them this, if I hear someone's in some, you know, state of distress over um, their weight, their their body, and everything, then here it is, I guess. <laughs> Uh, in any case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off here, uh, and I hope you have a great night, a great weekend, a great week. Make the best out of your day uh, today, tomorrow, and, you know, as long as you can. See ya.